Hello, I'm Nils. This video is not meant as and should not be taken as medical advice. If you've seen my other videos, you'll know that I looked like this back in the fall of 2021, three years ago. I had some belly fat that was hard to lose and my muscles were shrinking. This is me today in 2024. I realized back in 21 that I was slipping into sarcopenia. I was 67 years old at the time. I'm 71 years old now. I'm not massive by any means, but I am stronger. I'm leaner. I have better muscle definition than I used to. I also have more energy and less abdominal fat. I feel younger and according to the aging AI and pheno age calculators, I'm years or even decades younger than my chronological age. My model for fitness is an athlete such as a discus thrower, not necessarily a huge bodybuilder like Arnold Schwarzenegger. My goal is to keep building both muscle strength and size and also cardiovascular fitness as the years go by. The approach that I took, which has helped me to start moving in that direction was, number one, I switched to eating a more animal-based diet. Now, I had been eating a lot of protein when I was losing muscle, but about half of it was from plant sources, which for me, that was not working. I increased the amount of red meat, poultry, eggs, and dairy, and started seeing more gains. Number two, I started taking anabolic supplements, including DHEA, tribulus, fish oil, horny goat weed, cystanch, astragalus, creatine, l 6475, and TMG. These increased my testosterone and gave me more energy for exercising. I also took Fidogia agrestis for a while, but I've phased it out recently because in mice at least, it can be damaging to the testes. Number three, I bought a power tower, a slant board and some other exercise equipment so that I could work out regularly at home. Things that I found helpful once I began exercising were, number one, prioritizing safety. We can gain muscle either by moving heavier weights with a smaller number of reps or by lifting lighter weights and doing more reps. I felt like for myself, especially because I was starting at the age of 67, it was safer to start with lower weights. I do like to push myself and lift heavier weights now and then, but my priority is to avoid damaging my joints and lifting lighter is one way to do this. Number two, warming up before my workouts. And I mean that literally, actually. I found it helpful to take hot showers before doing resistance training so that my muscles are warm and relaxed, which helps prevent injuries. Number three, doing workouts such as squats and pull-ups that involve several muscles. I also do leg lifts and bicep curls, but not as a replacement for compound movements. Number four, gradually increasing the weight that I'm lifting and or the number of reps so that I can keep increasing my size. Again, I'm not aiming to be massive, but as we age, we start losing muscle due to the aging process. It's essential, in my opinion, to push back actively against that, or we may end up immobilized in a nursing home. Number five, taking anti-aging supplements such as NMN, NR, Ficoidin, Taurine, AKG, NAC, and Glycine, and some others. There's some danger of losing muscle as the years go by, even if we are working out. Slowing the aging process or reversing the hallmarks of aging is a part of my strategy for staying strong and fit as the decades go by. Number six, doing some red light therapy, both before and after working out. I find that I can do more reps and more sets after five or 10 minutes in my home red light booth. I actually use low cost LED lights from Amazon 
they're the same frequency as the juve lights and other more expensive ones. Here is a quick look at my red light booth without the lights turned on, and you'll see that I'm using clamp lamp fixtures, and inside of them are LED plant grow lights, which again are the same frequency as juve lights. So for me, they work as well. Number seven, cheating in the sense of finding easier ways to do exercises that I was not able to do when I started out. For example, when I started, I had a hard time doing actual pull-ups. So I bought a tower with a bar that I could rest my feet on. And then I would do assisted pull-ups with my feet resting on the bar instead of having to lift my whole body weight. I later increased the number of unassisted pull-ups that I could do by also doing what are called negative pull-ups, where you start out by standing on a chair or something like that, as high as you can get with your chin over the, the bar and holding on, and then you kick <laughs> the chair out of the way, so you're holding your own weight, and then you gradually lower yourself down. So you're not pulling yourself up, you're doing negative pull-ups, you're lowering yourself down, and then that gives you the strength to later do actual pull-ups. This video is sponsored by Do Not Age, a good source of high quality anti-aging supplements. There are good and bad supplement companies. In my opinion, Do Not Age is one of the very good ones. I take their TMG NMN and R Cert 6 activator, which is their Fuquidin, glycine with NAC, and several other supplements. For a 10% discount on all of the products on their website, use the discount code PATHWAYS in all caps. Using the discount code is also a way of supporting this channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.